Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Fogarty here from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com and today I have a very, very important message, a warning for you to consider before you ever start welding. This is a life or death thing, literally. It can not only save your life uh, and your long-term health, but it can also save those around you and it's super important for you to know this before you ever start welding. So I've recently been reading a lot of reports of people getting seriously ill or dying from fume exposure. Now these aren't just any kind of fumes, but these are incredibly toxic fumes that are created simply from the stuff that they use to clean their metal. What kind of stuff should you never ever use to clean your metal and then go weld on it? Anything that is chlorine based. Brake cleaner, don't ever use brake cleaner. What happens is when you, when you clean your metal with these crazy cleaners, and it seems like a great idea, you think, what is, what is the greatest cleaner I have? Well, brake cleaner or anything with chlorine, bleach, that sort of thing. Of course, you think that's, an, that's a great degreaser, a great cleaner, it's gonna get everything off. The problem is, is it leaves residue on your materials, on the metal, no matter what metal that you're using, it will leave that residue on there. Now, when this residue starts to heat up, it turns into a gas. It's colorless, it's odorless, you don't even know it's there. And it doesn't take much at all of this gas to, for you to breathe in before you can seriously, seriously injure yourself or die. Yes, die, it is that serious. What happens is when this turns to a gas, it actually turns into a gas that's known as phosgene. And that phosgene gas is actually a component of chemical warfare. They use this stuff in chemical warfare. So what is the right solvents to use to clean your material so you don't die or seriously injure you and those around you? Well, acetone is a fantastic solvent for you to use. Acetone can be found anywhere, any hardware store, anywhere at all, you can get it. You can get it at some grocery stores, get little cans of acetone. Acetone is great because it evaporates just like that and it leaves absolutely zero residue whatsoever. The problem with acetone is on larger projects, it's not really the most cost-effective thing for you to use. Is it? it can be a little bit pricey. So what's the best thing to use for large projects? Dish soap, Dawn, palm olive, any kind of dish soap around is perfect. I mean, we use it to degrease really greasy pots and pans, right? Well, it works great for metal too. The only thing you need to do is just make sure that you wipe everything down nice and good and make sure that it's dry before you start to use. Now, if you really just don't wanna use dish soap and you don't wanna use acetone, you wanna go the quote unquote professional route, you can go to any metal surplus store, any welding supply store and tell them what you're working on and tell them you need something to remove the oils before you weld and they will have something in that store that they will sell you, they can help you out with this, that won't kill you. So guys, please, please, please use the right stuff. Be careful, do your homework, look stuff up. Don't get in a hurry and just start cleaning metal with whatever it is you find around you because it will seriously mess you up. And none of us want that. No project is worth your health. No project is worth your health. So I'm Andy Fogarty for theathomewelder.com and then I'm here for kingmetals.com. Stay safe guys, and I'll see you again in the next video.